I should have known. Uh, I really should have known, considering so many of my viewers came from Rebuild. But, uh, yes, this is going to be Atom Zombie Smasher Extended Campaign. Now, I said I would need at least ten people to say that they wanted me to do an extended campaign, thinking that, you know, just given the views I normally get on my videos, that's not going to happen. I got five requests it, within an hour of posting the last video. Yeah. And as I went to sleep, I was thinking I probably should have made it 25. When I woke up, there was 25. It's actually like 35 now. So yeah, that's what's happening. Um, there were some reasons that I wasn't going to do an extended campaign, and mainly because later on it gets less interesting. And one of the things I'm going to try to combat that with is activating this. You can spend scientists to buy llama bombs. Now, I'm not going to actually use any llama bombs until I unlock llama bombs on the victory track, even though if you click this option, you get llama bombs right away. And they will be a random event, but if that happens, I will not use the llama bombs, because I don't want to cheat like that. That is the only thing I'm going to activate. Um, I think RR Cool said, like, you should do a, a permadeath hardcore campaign. No thanks. I, I don't see that as fun in any way, especially because the hardcore just means less daytime, faster zombies. That's not more fun, that's just dumb. It's dumb. I'm not gonna do it. Um, all the other ones... Well, I can't say I've actually tried alt spawning, but all of the other ones change it, like, make it much easier, I think. Or, um, just unnecessarily harder. So, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what I'm gonna do here. And the intro and everything is the same. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm trying the full screen setting on Fraps as opposed to the half screen, which lowers the quality a lot, but also vastly lowers the file size. Hopefully the smaller text will be readable now, but I don't know, because I was looking at the YouTube video, and you couldn't really see what was going on most of the time. And I got the pretty much the best thing that you could get on the first mission, so good luck so far. Once again, the first mission is just, uh, Saving people. And it's best to just put it away from the damn zombies. Alright. That's all that's about. Let's do it. But the random status effect I got was, um... Helicopter goes faster, and considering the only thing you can do in this part is rescue people with a helicopter, that's really good. Nor you... All right, good start, full load. Can we get another load before those zombies get here, though? Probably, because of the stat for today. Let's put this... Not too late. <laughs> Whatever, anything over 30 is good. It looks like I might even get another full load, which would be kind of amazing. Uh, they're coming. They are coming. Two full loads. Well, almost two full loads. That's not bad. And if I could drop a bomb on all these citizens so they wouldn't have to suffer, I would. Sadly, not an option. Um, here. Aw, oh, a little bit too late. Probably could have saved a few more if I had relocated. Yes, yes. Let's just end it, shall we? These purple bastards. Uh, I hate all things that are purple. Yeah, and die tonight. My meta has different coalitions, and I'm in like red coalition, and we have a feud with purple coalition. Although, <laughs> yeah, I was in a town today. Someone didn't close the gate, and um, 19 people died. That is the worst string of deaths in oozing in history. So it was an interesting day. <laughs> interesting day to me in the world of Die Tonight. Of course, I'm assuming like half the people watching this have no idea what I'm talking about. Probably more than half. But that was a very good start right there. So awesome to that. Um, yeah, we got snipers, so that's cool. I'm mulling this over as if there's a lot of different options. There's not. We'll put you... Hmm, I can either do that or cover these two. Ugh. 
I could cover these two very poorly, apparently. Uh, let's just put you there. And we're going to move you a little bit closer, I think. Oh, uh, there. Yeah. It's a better spread, I think. The middle one's probably more of a threat, considering where I put the heliocopter. Heliocopter. Now, I'm going to try to re See, the problem is, I did those first four videos all at once. So, I, it was hard for me to know about certain problems that might arise until much later. And one of them was that, uh, again, with the quality decrease, unless you have a gigantic monitor, probably a lot of stuff probably wasn't all that viewable to you. Um, so I'm going to try to remember to zoom in more. Even though it actually... The reason I don't zoom in more is because it actually makes it a little bit harder to move around. Gonna get two full loads again, that's not bad. And I should probably... Hmm. Yeah. Let's switch tax. Well, maybe I should have stayed there two seconds longer, but... Actually, no. That was good moving. Because they would all be dead now if I didn't move. Let's, uh... Let's move this over a little bit. Um, snipe them. Oh god, too late. Can I snipe those three before they come? Alright, good. I snipe that one. Someone said that they snipe the um, the zombies that are closest to you, but that's not true, or else they would have sniped these guys instead of someone over there. Uh, we're not doing too bad. Except that those guys are running after that zombie because they're geniuses. So ignore them. Lost causes, I say. Did they not see? Did they not see that zombie there? I don't know. Obviously not. Snipe! Why are you not sniping? Wesley, snipe them. Can that guy reach it? Nope. The helicopter took the hell off. But 80 people rescued? That's pretty good. And a lot's gonna come down to what uh, mercenary they give me next. Probably. Well, no. They would have been dead no matter what. They was doomed. Why lament? Now, the cool thing about extended campaigns is that you really get to level up the mercenaries, and some of them become incredibly powerful. Mainly the artillery. You saw that a little bit in the other campaign. But, um, they get stupidly powerful. To the point where you can actually kind of clear level 4 territories with just the artillery later on. Because they come almost as powerful as the Elephant Burn. Alright, incredible luck here. I hope this recording is going right. Because to get the snipers and then the infantry is really the best thing that could possibly happen. So that's great. I should be able to... Short, never mind. I was going to say I should be able to claim the next territory, but then I got that random day status. You'll notice the map is quite a bit bigger also. But yes, I probably will not be able to wipe out this map, but we'll see. I might get lucky. Go there, and you take the... Now nah, you take care. Why not? And the helicopter will go... here. It's actually... No. Did not want to move the sniper, just their trajectory. Ah, whatever. That'll be fun. Let's do it up. 30 seconds, I'm not going to be able to kill them all. That sucks, because this is a good combination of mercenaries to have in a level 1 territory, I'll tell you that much. But I only have 30 seconds to kill them all. There's no way in hell. Yeah. This track is cleared. Yep, regular day, this would be like... freaking cakewalk. Oh god. Uh, sniper, please move up there. Come on. No, what am I doing? Oh my god. Ugh, fell. But I saved exactly the amount of people that I need to go on, so whatever, I'm leaving it. I meant to move the mercenaries up, and instead I moved the uh, helicopter down, which is just great. That's just great. Now everyone's dead. So annoying. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, just kill as many as you can. Get the experience, guys. 
All oh, right. The thing with that last campaign is that I went from having absolutely terrible luck for many, many rounds that almost caused me to lose, to having amazingly good luck because they kept on giving me the artillery. That last campaign that I uploaded, I would not have won if they didn't keep on giving me the artillery like that. So I got lucky there. Slower zombie movement. Very good chance of claiming a territory. In fact, if I don't claim it, something's wrong with me. Okay. You'll cover that. You can cover these two. And the landmines will absolutely make sure that no one gets out. That one's almost a wasted one, but whatever, I don't care. And let's pull guys away from there. This one's pretty much in the bag. Step, step, step. Or shoot, I guess. I don't think my infantry guys are actually using knives. This isn't Metal Slug. Huh. They blew away the buildings there. As soon as I take out these four, I can go in and, as and assist. There we go. Well, the sniper might actually take them all out beforehand. Where are you, sniper? Yep, should be good, actually. Snipe that one, please! Just out of reach. Come on, move up. Move up. Move up. Oh, burn. Excellent. We lost no people. All peoples were saved. Once again, bam. Hooray! Territory captured. And we get the dynamite. Probably gonna get artillery last, but so it goes. As long as we have the infantry and the snipers first, it's fine. Shorter daytimes, less zeds. We might be able to capture another territory, it's hard to say. First level 2 territory, so what do we have? Snipers, landmines, dynamite. It's too bad I don't have the infantry, but we might be okay. Just because of the less zeds thing. And there's only two entry points? We're good. We are good. This shouldn't be hard at all. Even though I only have 30 seconds, it shouldn't be hard at all. Pretty much locks that up. Anyone somehow managed to get around the dynamite? We got this, this, this. Oh, we might be able to do this without snipers if I'm lucky. No snipers, snipers. You did with the snipers. There's a bottle of snipers. Okay. Rock. We ready? We ready to rock? We're ready to rock. And you notice I'm not explaining everything. If you somehow stumbled upon this video before seeing my other ones, then uh. Go back from whence you came. Look at my earlier ones. Yep, didn't even need the snipers, did we? <laughs> Very nice. With only two entry points, it gets a lot easier. I actually seem to remember playing a level one stage once that only had one entry point, which was crazy. Alright, artillery. Cool. Glad we got that before zombie bait. Hopefully it'll be selected. As far as order, like, order of mercenaries, I've gotten, it, you know, very good. It could seldom go better than what just happened, actually. Let's take another level one. I just want to capture as many territories as possible. Because the earlier you capture them, the more points you get. So, this will stop completely them from getting anywhere. Let's put a landmine here. Put a landmine here, and just in case they get past, put another landmine here. Helicopter here. Set up artillery in the back. Rock and roll. Wait for a good time to shoot my artillery. Bam! The time is now. The landmine should do a good job at taking the guys out on the right. They did indeed. Oh! Very nice. I wish I could have gotten that other one, but... All but one is not bad. Oh, crap. <laughs> Drop the ball there, I let one get past me. 
Come on, artillery, strike true. And don't hit my, don't hit the infantryman. Ah, you almost hit the infantryman. I know there's a zombie skulking around in the buildings over here. I gotta be careful. Or did he, did he get lost in the alleys or something? I guess we'll find out in a second. Oh, no, there wasn't anyone over there. I guess the uh, infantry got him when he was behind a building and I didn't notice. Yep. I'm actually going to start from this point on upgrading uh, load in time because that gets pretty powerful once you upgrade the helicopter to hold more than 40 people. Research labs unlocked. Excellent. Mercenary awarded. Got who cares? Stupid zombie bait. Though I shouldn't knock the zombie bait. It's actually pretty good in certain situations. How many points do they have? 380. Getting a pretty good lead. Wow. Oh. Well, as I said, I'm not going to use the llama bombs until I unlock them on the victory track. If I hadn't clicked the um, buy llama bombs option, they wouldn't be unlocked. So I don't want to give myself an advantage there. That's only for a situation later on where the entire map will be level 4 territories. And that's not fun. Like, there's... Ah, uh, you, you'll see. Alright, very good chance of winning here. I didn't even see what the day status was, but it doesn't matter. There's only two lanes. Uh, oh, maybe I'm wrong, because we don't have any explodies. Ah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna move the mercenary, though. Take the on the more immediate threat. Okay. Uh, everything placed? Yes. I shall smite you! Hopefully I can get all of the front ones. Because this, this side is locked up. It's going to be only this side that can give me trouble. Got all the front ones. Let's delay them even more. I can't even see what's going on back there. I'm assuming, however, what's going on is zombies. Alright, lock this one up also. It seems like on the extended campaign, it's... Wow, that was a good shot. Where's the last zombies? Now oh, they're there. Ah, you see you hiding up there. A bombie. Aim up. There they are. Dodge the explosion. Ah, oh, we got him. Did artillery get, like, anything? They killed only 15 zombies. That's the shit. What's important, though, is that I locked up the territory. And that I'm 165 points away. And the final mercenary has been acquired. So yes, it's easier on extended campaign to start out with, which is a good thing, because you really need to capture as much territory as possible. Because since the map is bigger, they can, uh... Zombies can end up getting a ridiculously large amount of, uh, guys. Like, uh, territory points pretty fast. And what do we have? We have, uh... Dynamite snipers and barricades. That's not good at all, but maybe there'll only be two paths and it'll be fine. Three paths. Oh well. You gotta have everything. Let's lock up you. That was a crappy placement. Up a little bit more. Parallel. Parallel parking. Snipers. Station yourselves here. And target this lane entirely. Let's not divide it. Barricadeers. Barricadians. There we go. That should delay them quite a bit. And we'll put the thing here. Alright. Don't know if I'm going to be able to lock this one up, but we'll see. Timing. Timing. Kaboom! captured a few guys there, but whatever. So if I... Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going to be kill, able to kill all the zombies. No way in hell. Because a sniper has to kill them all herself. Oh, well. Hopefully I'll at least get that scientist. Hopefully I'll at least get 60 people so I can win. Just change tax. 
These guys are going to be a threat faster, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm changing tack anyway. Get that one. Get the one all the way to the right. Get the one all the way to the right. Oh, well. I guess not. Too much to ask, I see. But yes, the reason I'm not able to wipe them all out is mainly because... Well, possibly due to just not good placement, but... um. There was more Zeds today. Even though there's a longer day, there's also more Zeds. And unless you have two attacking guys, it's usually pretty hard. If I had artillery, I probably would have been able to lock them up. So we just need nine to win the stage. Cool. Now they're coming in from both sides. Shoot that one, please. That one, please. Uh, close. Closer. Oh, well. <laughs> Helicopter. Moving up air. Snipers keep on a sniping. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Come on. Get that one, please. Ah, oh, you got him. Sweet. One or two more, perhaps. Goal. <laughs> Three, four. Like that's all we're going to get, though. Run! They're all around. Oh. Two guys left. Oh god, they're everywhere. You purple bastards! Trying to think outside the box instead of being green like upstanding zombies. Alright, sniper's leveled up. Coolio. And as always, bam. I will at no point upgrade repositioning time. That's the only uh, one that I'm just like, useless. Alright, heavier zombie outbreaks, so now there'll be like level 2 territory spawning up instead of level 1s. So I got to watch out for that. But I've captured a decent amount of territory. I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4? Yeah, 4 extra ones, and my starting one. And I just got Catbird Cannon. Excellent. Am I far enough ahead? I guess we'll find out. You'll notice after this point, nothing happens for a very long time. But yeah, that's episode one. Things have gone pretty well, so, uh... I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm Crescent Knights. See you next time. And of course, I... Forgot to show this part before I ended. Yes, llama bombs. Gotcha. Not using them. Yep, not using them, you heard me right. Alright, now see you next time.